Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the Aero OS for this Redmi Note 3, which is based on Android version 10. So let's begin. Okay, so guys, first of all, showing you some specifications of the Aero OS. As you can see here, the Aero OS version is 10.0, unofficial. The security patch level here is the 5th June 2020, and the kernel here is the bloody kernel which is good so guys i'm going to the settings going to going to the system these are all the options you get and then going to these are the advanced control to the xiaomi features as usual available for every room you get this is the me sound enhancer available okay then uh, this is the digital well-being available because i have installed the open g apps and which is working absolutely fine Okay, these are the features, we'll take a look at it afterwards, so then going to security, you get the fingerprint option here, but that is not working, uh, like, I'll just set it up, okay, as you can see here, the fingerprint sensor is not working, I'm pressing the fingerprint scan, it's just not working, I don't know what's the problem, and then after setting the screen lock, as you can see, I just double tap and the screen will already be unlocked, there, it will not ask for the password. It will ask after few seconds, like after 15 seconds, after 15 to 20 seconds, it will ask for the password. So you just can't uh, set the screen lock here. So as you saw that after some seconds, it just locked, and now you can just unlock it. So this is a problem here. Okay, so then uh, going to the sounds and vibration stuff. Uh, these are all the options available. Touch vibration and all the options basic options available you don't have to worry about that then uh, going to display settings you get all the display stuff available like the font size display size screen saver tap to wake this is the lock screen display the ambient ambient display available then you get the all this is the always on display which is also working absolutely fine then this is the theming option the dark theme which is also working and then going to the styles and wallpapers this is the option you get and uh, you can just customize it yourself if you want to then these are the clock styles available the, the only three options available then the, going to the wallpaper this is the on device wallpaper the aero os wallpaper which is uh, that's it then you get the status bar items these are all the status bar items you can just turn them on if you want then this is the weather option and all that stuff so then talking about the battery battery life here is uh, not that great it's average i would say as you can see screen usage since full charge is 3 hours 53 minutes that is not possible so this is uh, not true i don't know then uh, you get the option here battery icon style and the battery percentage the option here is available in the battery settings then this is the battery manager then the battery charging light and all the customizations of the battery are available here so that's it for the settings now moving forward to the customizations like the features of the aero os the first of all let's go to the buttons customization this is the power menu option available whatever the option you want on the power menu just turn them on then this is the advanced re reboot option the you can disable the hardware buttons then uh, the hardware buttons brightness you can customize according to the screen brightness which is good option then you get this single tap double tap and the long press customization for the hardware button then going to the gestures these are all the gestures available the system navigation gesture the gestures just work fine as you can see no problems with the gesture they are fluid enough okay then you get the double tap to sleep and all that stuff available here then uh, so that's it for the features like there are not many features available here i just showed to you that's it these buttons and the gestures no other features are available guys going to the home screen this is the home screen this is the launcher launcher available here which is working absolutely fine no problems it talking about this stuff like the wi-fi bluetooth everything is working fine i'm having some problems with the mobile data like it's not working sometimes it's working sometimes the speed is not at at point then the torch is also working then uh, here this is the dark theme night light all the stuff is working now there is no screen recorder available here like you need to turn it on from the settings like just go to the settings system go to the developer option 
then uh, can go to the feature flags and here as you can see the option available the settings screen record long press just click on that and just uh, now press the power button press and hold the power button now you can see the screenshot option available just press and hold on it and now you will get the option for the screen recording and it will work fine it is working fine so that this is the screen recorder how you can enable it then talking about the other stuff like the youtube is working fine and uh, all the apps are working call quality talking about the calls uh, i was having call like uh, the person on the opposite side was not able to hear my voice many times so there is some problem with the calls okay then talking about the camera this is the gcam go available here which is working absolutely fine as you can see the google camera version 7.3 here is not working both the bsg mode and the parrot one both are not working here okay then talking about the pubg performance pubg runs great like if the performance is average you will be able to play okay so guys talking about the banking apps so you will have to root your phone like you will have to install the magic to run the banking apps here the performance is great here so guys that's it now talking about the bugs like you have the bugs available like the call bug like the opposite person will not able to hear your voice then you have the screen lock bug available here the black screen also okay so guys after using this rom for 6 days like the oh, after like uh, i slept at night and in the morning i saw that the phone was in the boot loop and then i had to give it to the to technician to repair it but he said you have to change the motherboard and then accidentally it just started and it is now working fine as you can see so you may have this problem like uh, the boot loop problem after some time so i would not recommend you to use this rom So guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye